Hello everyone and welcome to Just Phantom Comics YouTube channel. Today we are once again here to talk about 6 more famous Batman villains that have never appeared in a Batman solo movie before. It is very surprising how many Batman villains have been recycled in live action movies when Batman's rogues gallery is so big. Even in the Batman, every character has been used before in a movie. Penguin has appeared in Batman 66 and Batman Returns, the Riddler also appeared in Batman 66 as well as Batman Forever, Catwoman also appeared in Batman 66, Batman Returns and also in The Dark Knight Rises. Carmen Falcone has also appeared in one previous occasion and Batman Begins. If you want to enjoy today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribe for the cherry on top. Now to a character that probably won't fit into the Reeves universe, as he may be a little too fantastical, it is Kirk Langstrom, better known as Man Bat. Langstrom is a scientist who developed a serum that turned him into a creature of the night. Langstrom hates transforming into the man beast and aggressively researches to find a cure. If you want to add a bit of diversity, his wife Francine Langstrom has also been a creature of the night, known to the world a she-bat. Again, Man-Bat would probably be best as a side plot or something, but it would be lovely to see him. We need more Fantastic Beasts in the Batman movies. And luckily for DC, Warner Bros already owned the rights. I would give this inclusion a 7 out of 10 in my I would like to see this in a movie scale. From one beast to another, we have Clayface as Basil Carlo. Clayface is made out of clay, as the name suggests, and has the ability to shapeshift into whoever he likes. Now, I'm not sure how clay can transform into flesh, but we live in a world where Amber Heard is Mira and Johnny Depp has been fired from Disney and Warner. Mr. Carlo is a former actor which really helps him in his shapeshifting ventures and sell the people he shapeshifts into. He would be another side villain and I would rank him a 5 out of 10. I'm not sure I can say this word on YouTube, but next up we have a serial taker of life. It is Professor Pig. Now Professor Pig is really, really a dark character and I think you would have to make an R-rated Batman movie to get the most out of him and I doubt that would ever happen. Of course the Riddler was a serial taker of life in the Batman so having another serial taker of life would be just more of the same. But however, his victims are mutilated and disfigured in ways only a serial taker of life can imagine. The Riddler is very tame in comparison to Professor Pig, but Lasso Valentine would be really really cool and disturbing to see in a movie. He is obsessed with perfection which involves disturbing and deranged harmful surgeries on people to turn them into brainless, brainwashed, disfigured dolatrons. As we have seen serial takers of life before, I'd rank this a 2 out of 10, but I feel like he's very different from the Riddler, even if they're both taker of lives. There are surprisingly many crime bosses in Gotham, and we have Roman Sionis, we saw in Birds of Prey, portrayed by Jedi Master Obi-2 Kenobi. There are a ton of crime lords in Gotham City. Black Mask might be one too many. That's probably why they killed him off. I mean, Reeves is already setting up the Penguin to take over for Falcone after his death, and the Penguin series will probably focus on that. Black Mask debuted in 1985 in Batman issue 306. Black Mask featured extensively in the Batman Arkham Origins, as well as under the Red Hood animated movie in 2010. There might just be too many crime lords in Gotham City to prioritize Black Mask, and for that reason, and the reason that we have seen him before, and that he is dead, only leaving room for Sionis to appear in the Reeseverse, I will give it a 4 out of 10. From a character that we don't need to see to a character that we absolutely need to see, it is Slade Deathstroke Wilson. And you cannot convince me that the Ben Affleck vs Deathstroke fight wouldn't have every nerd orgasming as if it was prom night. I mean everyone wanted to see this, and still do. Warner even shot down multiple attempts at movies or series featuring Deathstroke. Everyone loves Deathstroke, and we all love Joe Mining Yellow. 
Now, I know that everyone keeps complaining about Deathstroke not being a Batman villain, but a Teen Titans villain. But I'll tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Jerry now here I'm cheating a little bit because this character may not be uh, very famous in the Batman lore, but he appeared in a Batman game. If you have played Batman Arkham City, you would know who this character is and it is Deacon Blackfire. Deacon Blackfire is a sociopathic and influential cult leader in Gotham City. He is notable for being one of the few to break Batman's psychology. I'm sorry. It says psychologically, I cannot read that word, by successfully brainwashing him into joining his cult. Yes, I know some weird stuff. Not a physical match for the Dark Knight, but it would be cool to see as an opening with Batman taking him and his cult down. Kinda like they did with that animated tie-in series, anthology series, for the Nolan trilogy where Batman is in the sewers taking down or trying to take down Killer Croc. Well, there you have it. Six more characters that have never and should be in a Batman solo movie. Let me know what characters you would like to see in a Batman solo movie. May it be grounded like the Reeves universe or more fantastical like the DCEU. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe to see more lists like these. Farewell, O ye.